Zell, who gets no government money to create this fine product. <laughs> Absolutely not. But we do have a way to help keep those birds fed in the wintertime. And Kathy O'Neill from Wild Birds Unlimited joining us right now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Tim. And people think about bird feeders probably in the spring and in the summer, but in the winter they may forget about them, right? Yes. It's critical in the wintertime to feed birds when it's as temperatures as low as, as we are having right now. Absolutely. So if they don't have enough energy to keep warm, through the night that's very possible that they won't survive. And you've got a great backyard bird count we're getting ready for in February, correct? Exactly. Now, it's a little early, I realize, sure. but uh, for those people that don't feed birds, this would be a good time to start, and sure. you could do very simply many different things. Uh, the Great Backyard Bird Count is actually a uh, several organizations, the Lab of Cornell Ornithology, an organization in Canada about bird studies, and also the National Audubon Group. Gotcha. And they all come together and and do this, and Wild Birds Unlimited helps sponsor it. Oh, okay. It's very easy to do. With the onset of the internet, you just sit for 15 minutes in your backyard, at a park, wherever, and you count the number of bird species you see, and right. you can submit that list. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, you know, there's just a lot scientists can learn from the birds' uh, behavior and their environments, and so it's actually very important. There you go. So tell me some simple ways we can keep them fed here in the wintertime. Okay. So some good foods, actually there is a science to feeding birds. Gotcha. Uh, for example, even though I, you see a bagel here, we do not want people to throw out bread. Gotcha. Not good. Not they good. cannot get the fat that they need from bread. Breads okay. are carbos, no good. But bird seed like peanuts and sunflower, uh, that's excellent. So make sure whatever you're putting out there is is high in caloric value or calories. It's not enough just to feed them. You got to feed them the right foods. Correct. Got now you. let's just say you don't even have you don't have a chance to get out to get bird seed. Okay. Well, peanut butter. Peanut butter, really? Yep, yep. Just as simple as that. Okay. Grab, I didn't have cornmeal at home, but gotcha. I did have oatmeal. All right. So, just, you know, grab some peanut butter, mix it up. With, with the oatmeal? With the oatmeal. Now, this is or really... cornmeal? Yes. Super fun for kids. And have them go out, get some pine cones, and you have them stuff that mixture into the pine cone. Oh, how cool. Back down and in there, because a lot of birds like woodpeckers have a long tongue, and they can get way inside that pine cone to get that food out. So they could do that, and then if you do have bird seed, you can also roll it in there. Perfect. We're a little short on time, but I want to go through some of these bird feeders. You actually have a heated one, right? Well, yes. Actually, this is a heated bird bath. bath. A lot of people might not even realize. Food's important, but water is critical. Gotcha. So many things will freeze up during right. these cold temperatures. So if you already have a bath, this is something that you can, you'd plug in with a heavy duty extension cord. This keeps the temperature of the water right about 40 degrees so it won't freeze. That's they perfect. need it for drinking and preening. If they don't have clean feathers, it's, it's not good. It's yes. not a good yes. thing. You uh -huh. know what I mean? When your feathers yes. aren't clean, <laughs> nothing's working right. Exactly. Hey, several different ways to help you out. They can give you a call at Wild Birds Unlimited if they yes, want more there's, info. Yes, they're local, uh -huh, local Wild Birds Unlimited in the St. Louis area. We have uh, WBU is also, you know, on in the internet too that people can look things up uh, and these you know squirrels are sometimes a problem sometimes people that feed birds have issues but here if a squirrel jumps on this feeder it closes off so the squirrels I mean I know they want to eat too but right. you don't you want to leave the food for the birds and and something as simple as this I mean this is for finches yeah the colors of the birds can be beautiful right now finches are kind of a dull winter color so they do stay, but they're kind of dull, but they will eat from a feeder like this. And with the rain, snow, and ice, these are nice to, you know, keep the birds from from uh, getting all that. And Let's also take care of our feathered friends when the too. frost sets in. That's the key here. We're going to have to go to break. Okay. 20 to go. Go see your local Wild Birds Unlimited for more information. I had to give this to you, Mr. Squirrely Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Nuthouse. Yeah, every day between 9 and 10 a.m. Exactly. Put it on.